The reason that CEC is having financial troubles is because KCM is owing CEC for power supply of over 140, it's now gone over $140 million. Okay. Then, because CEC is owed this money by KCM, CEC in turn has not been able to pay Zesco for the power that they've supplied because CEC has not been paid for it. So Zesco is now saying, CEC, you are owing me approximately about 90 or so million dollars. Okay. So CEC is saying, I can't pay you because KCM has not paid me. All right. Now, is it not possible in any sensible situation that the government can bring these parties down, sit down together and say, okay, let us find a way to offset these, these debts. And obviously there will be a balance that will be due to CEC and that can be paid. But the government has not done that. Instead, the government is at the forefront of undermining a wholly owned Zambian company, a company that employs thousands of Zambians, a company that contributes so much to the copper belt. It, has a, it supports a hospital. It supports one of the leading uh, Premier League football clubs, Power Dynamos. You know, it supports housing for a lot of uh, people. It supports schools on the copper belt. CEC has been part of the fabric of the copper belt of the mining sector since the start of copper mining on the copper belt. 